Hello there guys and welcome to a new series. Um, I'm going to do a Pentagon challenge and this will just be for the rest of the uh, rest of the season's version of FM. Um, I have got a few clubs that I am interested in doing in tw FM 2017. Uh, I won't be releasing those for now. So Basically, doing the Pentagon Challenge leagues, I've got the load up to start with are the A League, the South African Premier League, and the Mexican League. Um, because those are the two leagues that I want to start with. Obviously, the South African Premier League is the only default league in Africa. Um, Possibly the easiest to get the North American Champions League. Um, so I'm going to start in South Africa um, with the aim of uh, winning South African uh, the African Champions League. So I'll play forward until we get ourselves a job, and then I'll explain from there what exactly I'm going to be doing. So I will see you when I get a job. Hello there guys. And we're back. Um, it's now April of 2016 and I've finally got a job with African Warriors in the National First League, which is the second league in South Africa. So I am hoping to get ourselves promoted <coughs> in the next couple of years or um yeah um work my way into one of the top division teams uh so first things first avoiding well um, avoiding relegation from the second division um that will be the first responsibility um yeah so we'll just get through these and we'll see what the finance is like whether I can go for um a badge chance might as well uh, who's currently playing okay so this is the 10th year mark okay I'll sort it out and we've got ourselves some pretty good players Obviously, if I don't understand what this club is different to, uh, this is going to be different to many other players in yeah, many other sides in that a lot of these players aren't getting very good. I'm going to have to slowly work our way through the crap. saves and basically just try and help 
this will be before I move on to bigger and better things. Um, I just got a lot of good yarn time here. So we could have an absolutely massive first yarn. Um, so first things first, I'll go look at what we have. This is a good hip here. That's a young kid here. He's got a heap of potential. Uh, injury event and then star right there. Right here. Let's just have a look at this quarter. So that could be a spot we need to look at. Couple centre backs. Um, in here. I think we're fairly safe with the 1 formation. So that's where we're going to start with. And I'll sort this out and we'll come back for the first game. Okay, I reckon we're going to go down and we're going to lose our job. Um, we've got three games to go in the league, and we need to get five points. Well, um, this could be <laughs> this could be very very short. Um, so. To be honest, I don't know if there's any point recording the rest of the season and looking at a new club because, well, I'm on the bottom of the South African leagues. Um, once we get um, relegated, there's nothing I can do. Got us to get ourselves a couple, three wins, and they get us to thirty-one points. And we have to hope the Cape Town All Stars don't win any games. Otherwise, it could be very, very difficult to get through. Um, so let's have a look at the last three games. We've got Cape Town. Oh, okay. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable now looking at the teams that we actually have to face: Cape Town, Cape Town, and Royal Eagles. So if we have a look here, uh, Cape Town. Okay, so we've got to win this game. It's Cape Town All Stars, and we have to beat Cape Town, obviously Cape Town, um, and then hope that we win that game against Royal Eagles. So I'll sort out the formations, and we'll come back for the first game. <coughs> Hello there, guys, and today. We've got the game against Royal Eagles, the first game and potentially one of the last. Um, yeah, um, this is the lineup we're going to go with. I'm trying. I'm hoping that we can get a good game, uh, get a win here, and try and get ourselves out of the relegation zone. That's the team we're going to go with. And I'm hoping that we can somehow get out. See here, we're massive underdogs. And I'm hoping that this won't be the end. Um, club can't afford to pay for a coaching badge for a month, so, 
so yeah, we could we do could differ. So yeah, basically we've got three games left. We're five points from safety and this is the bottom league in South Africa. Well, the second league, but it's the lowest league available in the default database. So the fact is, if we get relegated, I'm going to have a job. That's the way... Pentagon challenge works. You have no respect because you haven't done anything. You haven't got a nobody. So getting a job from the beginning is very, very difficult. So I'm hoping we can survive and next season we can start fresh. But he ourself was out of the relegation zone. We first have to um Right, well that's not gonna help. Second choice keepers now injured. Um we've gotta get ourselves out of this rut. And we've gotta get ourselves a win. Put the pressure on FC No Cape Town All Stars, who are the team that are just outside of the relegation zone. Oh wow! Yeah, we've got ourselves a one nil lead here, and hopefully this will lead to us. I've got no idea how to pronounce these people. Yagobo. I'm going to try it. And just use numbers. Number 11. Number 11 has a shot goal and it goes wide. And we have ourselves a goal kick. ourselves a win.
still going with the 442, but maybe maybe switch sides. Let's drop them back a little bit. Okay. Um, let's make them to central midfielder. Right side. Okay. Change things up ever so slightly. set pieces. substitution left. Let's pick a substitution. Um, If you enjoyed that episode, why not leave it a like? While you're at it, subscribe to keep up to date with all my football major content. Nevertheless, until next time, I've been James. You've been great. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.